What's going on everyone, Metal Raymond here, and welcome back to another Spawn PK video. It's been quite a while since our last one, and today I have something huge in store for you. We have a brand new spring event on Spawn PK right here, right now, with tons of new content, new places, new things to kill, and a lot of greatness as a whole. We have a bunch of new items introduced to the game, from new magic gear, new spawnable items, some cosmetic things, there's a whole lot of variety in this update and we're gonna go over as much as we can within this video as you saw at the start a beautiful 200 dollars giveaway don't forget to enter that one as well and we have some giveaway winners at the end of this on top of that in this update we have two brand new pet fusions absolutely insane great fucking uh, pets amazing designs and on top of that the most beautiful pet i've ever seen in my life the mad hatter Alright guys, what's going on? Metal Raven here for realsies this time. Hope you enjoyed that small little intro. I wanted to make everything a little bit more compact and showcase everything at once with a little bit of extra editing and stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. We have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of things to go over today. For sure, I'll be trying to unlock the pink skin, which requires golden eggs. I'll talk about that more in the video. And doing an hour of free-to-play area hunting. I'll also do a, an hour of wilderness rabbit hunting. So we'll have uh, two hours at the very least in this video of just trying to do the new spring event. And we'll be showcasing a few small other things. But there's just way too much in this video for one. So let me know what you guys would like to see in the next one. If you would like a PK video with the new Mad Hatter pe uh, pet or with the uh, Blade of Seller. Maybe both at once. That's an option, maybe more hours of doing loot from how many tokens can you get if you do this, this and this, showcasing the boss and all of that good stuff. Maybe became with one of the new pet fusions, everything is possible, just let me know. I'll be doing some giveaway winners at the end of the video because we haven't done that in Spawn PK in a long, 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 long fucking time. So stay tuned for that. And with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Alright then guys, there are many things that we have to go over um, during this event, this video. But the very first thing I wanted to do for today was uh, the rolling easter eggs in the free to play areas. If you get three of these gilded eggs that you see in the yell chat, some people are finding them right now, you can unlock a pink skin, a you know temporarily available one. And I would really like to unlock that, so first things first, let's go ahead and do some free to play hunting. You have the roaming rabbits in the wilderness, you have the egg hunting in free to play, you have easter revenants in a multi-combat area in the wildy and you need uh, the excavator perk in order to get out of it or you have to wait for magic sickness that is automatically applied uh, when you enter it to fade away unless you get TB'd and then on top of that. So it's quite a dangerous area but I think the drops could be quite uh, worthwhile. Mad header boss. Spawns every 4 hours, love to see one of those. PKing activities, uh, PK hotspots grant you 50 to 100 tokens per kill. Placing top 3 in an LMS match grants 100, 250 or 500 tokens respectively. I don't know how many people do LMS nowadays on here, but definitely um, might be worth trying if there are enough people running at the moment. So there's major arena at the moment, not gonna bother with that. So. First thing first, unlike usual where free to play areas uh, events are active, it seems like this is one of them where you do not need to equip anything. Man, I don't remember how to go to free to play areas. <laughs> I believe you can get one of the weapons over here. If you go to collect eggs, yeah, pile of eggs, you have three different tiers, but you need like uh, these rabbit foots that you get from the wilderness uh, in order to get those. So we're just gonna get the regular one, explosive eggs, you can equip the little satchel and you can throw eggs at um, the rabbits in the wilderness. But since we're starting in the free to play area, I do not believe we need this. Let's go ahead and uh, do some scouting and see what we can find. Alright, so we're already finding a first egg here, if we're just a little faster than him. Yeah, you get a random amount of tokens and there's a small chance that you can find one of those gilded eggs. We need to find three of those, so this might take a little while, but let's go ahead and see how it goes. You also have the option of opening Gilded Eggs for, I believe, 500 tokens, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, you can crack the Gilded Egg for a 500 tokens reward, or you can save them up and exchange three times for the limited time Spring Event Skin Token. Definitely one of the things I would like to unlock from this event. Damn, even though a lot of people are hunting these eggs at the same time right now, you can still get those spots where you just find a bunch at the same time. 
unfortunately one is about to get yeeted, but I still got four out of five. Starting to wonder a little bit how rare these are, haven't seen one yet. But on the other hand, I just saw one person get two within like less than five minutes. This NRPK guy here, like right here, got a Gilded Egg Spring, and then right above it, yeah, there's another one, like within a few minutes from each other. So I hope we can uh, clear this within like one or two hours. To just get the skin unlock for now, that would be good. Oh, what? I found a Gilded Egg Rare. Oh, that's how you find it. It's literally on the floor as a Golden Egg. I didn't know that. Well, the more you know. So even if you open these regular eggs, it doesn't matter. You have to find one of those golden ones rolling on the ground. Very cool. One out of three, though. All right, fucking finally, number two. Jesus, that took forever. Oh, damn. We are currently, let's take five minutes off. So about 37 minutes in, I would say. 32, 42 total, minus five. Yeah, 37 minutes in. Gonna do a total of one hour. Hopefully we can get the three eggs within there. We just need one more after this. But uh, it's a little rough. There's so many people hunting. It seems like we have been quite possibly bamboozled. Where in the uh, update post, link in the description by the way, it says you need three of these gilded eggs. You actually need five. I don't know if it was changed afterwards or what. You could click it and it says crack five eggs for spring event skin token. So I guess we do need a bit more eggs, damn. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon, for now at least. I wanna continue on with the video after this one hour, so I'll check you guys when the hour is up. Yes, finally, number three. Oh my god. Oh, that took a while. We still have two more to go, but uh, Jesus. Some people are finding them left and right, but uh, not for me. All right, we just uh, hit one hour-ish. So, in that time we got 9.6k spring tokens and 3 gilded eggs. Of course, once you get what you want from the gilded eggs, you can just crack them open for 500 additional, so that would have been a total of 11,000. Right here is the event chest, even though it's invisible at the moment, it is right here. You can see the rewards. You have this new Easter Derox, which is pretty interesting. Unique Derox that gives extra 5 slash bonus on each piece. Sad effect, 1 in 4 chance to deal 2 times damage in PVM, which might have some very good uses depending on, you know, what kind of setup you're using. Definitely interesting. Of course, you have your seasonal scrolls, drop rate, chance for superior refs, uh, two-time drop chance, and hotspot casket during events. Oh, damn, that's insane. What? Damn, we need those at some point. But for now, I think I'll sell it. And right here, you have the tier two, treasure chest, blood casket, three epic pet boxes, three grand prize keys, five mystery ticket, bond caskets between five and 30, and a one key that can give between 30 and $100. Pretty cool. Of course, we have the Mad Hatter pet. Let's not forget about that bad boy. Can't wait to test that one out. Oh, and of course, the rolls are 2,500 each. So not too bad at all. Grab your egg right here. And I think we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next piece of content, the Wilderness Rabbits. However, before we go there, there's another item I want to obtain. Kind of should do this in, uh, on the IFF series, but I don't want to wait. Oh, Phenomenon is trading me. Give me one second. Uh, let's see if... Oh, you can't hold shift on this. Let's hope it's enough to get to... Um, my god, there's a lot of items you can't actually do. Yeah, okay, that's enough. We need 1,000 blood shards. Give me a second to deal with that. Tap in here. All right, so to continue the clip, we now have 1,000 uh, shards, what we needed. Then we also need, oh, why would you put it in at that price, bro? 25 diamonds is what we need, I believe. Oh, fuck's sake, I'm, <laughs> I'm one off, damn it. All right, there we go, 25 diamonds. So, blood shard store, there are quite a few new items in here, such as the cabbage round shield, leaf bladed battle axe, this new swamp bark armor, a lot of cool things that we'll go over in the near future. But first we're buying a bound looting bag, a new and tradable item. Pretty cool, you can store items in the bag when you're in the wilderness, bag is out of kept on death. That in and of itself is pretty cool, but what's even cooler is this new enchantment. It's not in the blood diamond store, come on Metal Raven, wake up. It's right here, trinkets and tools I believe. Yep. Blood looting bag. If you do not have a Yoshi pet equipped or in your inventory, you'll receive 25% drop rate bonus in the wilderness. 
pretty fucking sick. You need a bound blood bag or bound looting bag and 25 diamonds, 100% chance. Let's go ahead and create one of those. So if we're not using a Yoshi, we get an additional 25% drop rate. Pretty cool. So just like this, we're already at that much. Well, drop rate bonus, blood money rate, wealth risk. Interesting. Cool concepts. Um, let's go ahead and make a little setup and then uh, go do some uh, wilderness rabbits. All right, let's go ahead and buy a little alien pet. That way we can teleport out in any wilderness level. And as for my setup, I can basically grab my blood revenant setup. I think that's plenty. And then we can um, just bring the bag. This one right here. We'll bring a Grand Falcon instead of our regular Yoshi. And then we need an alien. Also, Cursed Out was kind enough to borrow me some items for this event so I can uh, make a variety of things with it. Such as a Frosty t -bow. so we're gonna use that instead. Got an anti-PKing setup, that should work fine. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and do uh, some wildy rabbits. And of course, if I find revenants along the way, I'll kill them as well. Quite before I go do the wilderness rabbits, there's one more thing I want to show you guys. One of the new pet fusions, because there are two brand new ones, and I have the pets required to make one of them. We've been asking for this for such a long time, a rates related pet fusion. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but it works pretty well. The ultimate Ulm pet requiring the Tecton, Ulm and Fasa. I ended up buying a Fasa from Cursed Out for 1.2 Trill. Fucking expensive compared to what it used to be. I, I remember buying this Ulm for like 150 bill way, 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 way back. And now it's like 800 bill plus, like bruh. Same with Tecton, shot up to 300 bill or something. But hey, we can go ahead and make the ultimate own pet. I don't have any regrets about that because it's a useful fucking pet. And uh, yeah, it has all the combined effects. Let's have a little look at it. Oh man, such a beautiful thing. My god, hey, hey, I'm trying to show my pet, bro. <laughs> Yo, what up, Aussie? <laughs> Thanks, bro. Appreciate it, man. Anyway, that's the ultimate omelet pet. Combines all three pets, so 10% PVM damage. Extra damage in the uh, Fasa and Ulm rooms. Plus, Ulm and Fasa have some pretty interesting effects. The Fasa can allow you to hit a plus 5 above your max hit with magic, and Ulm can allow you to deal plus 5 above your max hit with fire damage. So, that should include Fire Surge. So, what I'm wondering is if it stacks up, can you hit plus 10 above your max hit with this pet? I'm not quite sure, but it's something I would like to test later down the line. Alright, so before I go in, let's go quickly show off the new Mad Hatter pet, because this thing is pretty epic. As you can see, when you attack with it, it will do random emotes, but those emotes aren't completely random, they have an effect. So let me look it up real quick. When it does the dance emote, it will do 15% more damage on that hit. When it does the jig emote, it's 25% accuracy on that hit. When it does the spin emote, like right there, it will heal you for 30% of the hit's damage. And on top of that, when it does the headbang, like right now, it's all three of the above. What? This thing is crazy, man. I can't wait to test it out in like PvP scenarios. But as you can see, like right there, it does the headbang, the max hit just went from a 28 to a 32. Like, bruh, this thing is crazy. And especially with fast weapons like this, like you get so many different effects. So cool. Love this thing. Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. We're currently at 22.35. I want to do at least an hour. So 21.35 is when we'll stop doing the rabbits. Let's go ahead and see how it goes. Hopefully we can get a good amount of rabbit feed. Because we can use those in order to acquire the upgrades on the explosive eggs to make it a tier 2 or tier 3. Also, expect some videos in the near future, like related to a Spawn PK with In Depth for a Falcon. I will probably do quite a bit of those. How much drop rate are we getting? Oh, damn, quite a few. Ugh, Happy Tail coming right at me. No! No, Happy Tail! I do not want to get PK. Go, go away. I just entered, bro. Relax. <laughs> Let's go a different place, let's go Chaos Giants this time. Alright, seems like we can finally get into the PVMing part of what I wanted to do. Maybe we should just start a whole new hour because we already wasted over 5 minutes on those two noobs trying to PK me. My god, if that was an attempt... Oh no! 
no, 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 no. Fucking multi area, bro. Swear to God, using a cursed orb is just way too attention grabbing. It's a bit annoying. As you can see. Yeah, let's just not use that because there's just way too many people hunting my ass right off the bat. And I think I'm just gonna leave Blood Revenants as it is because there's like no rabbit hunting at this rate. Okay, let's just try this all over again from zero. Uh, 22, 26. Let's go make a screenshot of it so I can remember the time. And uh, let's go ahead and strictly hunt rabbits without the cursed orb because I see PA. Getting PK that much is just not uh, very productive, let's put it that way, shall we? Alright, so we find a rabbit right away after teleporting to Kraken, I'm absolutely fine with that. Let's go ahead and uh, see what can we get from these. Common rabbit food, 1 in 10 for one singular one, 1 in 1000 for the prize key, and the grand prize key, 1 in 2500. There are different rabbits you can find, like different rarities on them, so if we look up a rabbit... There should be common, then we have uncommon. This one can drop, okay, pretty much the same, but the price key and grand price key are a bit more common. This one drops two to three rabbit foots at the same drop rate, but one in 500 for the price, uh, price key, one in uh, 1500 for the grand price, and the most rare one is one in 100 and one in 250, but finding those is a challenge in and of its own. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get into this, and hopefully we don't get PK too often, but at the very least, I'll sh stay the fuck out of multi. So it doesn't show up in the save area, but I have 220% drop rate inside the wilderness itself. It's a bit of a hassle to manually pick up these items, not gonna lie, but it's something I can deal with. Probably won't kill Blood Revenants too often, but like right now, if it spawns right in front of me, I might as well. What? It actually spawned a fucking superior as I killed it, as I stopped the recording. What? <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Let's see what we get. And we get absolutely nothing, damn it. Oh, and here is an uncommon rabbit. As you can see, it's a little bit light blue instead of yellow. I'm guessing the other ones will have different colors as well. Can't wait to fight those. Ah, shit, here we go again. Huh? At the bank real quick after the last attempt was about 500 tokens only. Huh, this guy actually told me, hey, come here, there's a, there's a large rabbit over here, very rare. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that, Zerite. Alright, let's see what we get. Apparently they're quite rare. Ah, not even like a lucky one. Damn, 100 mil bag, 46 blood money and 432 tokens. Or at least the tokens are really nice. Oh shit, there's a large rabbit right there. Can I please get that before anyone else goes for it? You know what? Fuck it, it's multi anyway. Let's attack it as soon as we see it. Pretty good drop rates as well. Two to three rabbit feed. On top of that, so we could start seeing those. I think we need 10 for the first tier upgrade. Alright, let's see what we get. Hey, nothing. Alright, just killed another rare, or a very rare rabbit actually. Unfortunately, no rare drop on this one either. Still haven't had a single rabbit feed, but we're gonna keep going. Alright, one man down. Jesus, I was getting PK'd while on the phone, so I couldn't do shit. <laughs> that was a little tedious, not gonna lie. Come on, get him. And good fight. That is two down. GG's. What is the other loot? An AGS and Tome of Fire? Ah, okay. Better than nothing. 1.5k tokens in this second trip. Honestly, the tokens an hour right now aren't that great. But I feel like once you upgrade this to higher tiers and you can kill those rabbits faster, it goes up quite a bit. Alright, another large rabbit. Can we please get some rabbit's feet, please? We need ten of them. <laughs> Not going too quickly at the moment. Oh come on, man! All right, just killed another rare one, and we finally got some rabbits feet. That is so good. Let's see how many. Two or three? Two of them. Beautiful. They're also capped on death, so that's very beneficial. Now right, we have another little picker boy over here. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. Oh, I accidentally typed in the CC. Never mind. Whoopsie. We got him. Lol. He actually had risk too. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, what the hell are we looking at here? Give me a second. 
Ah, uh, AGS, nice little Serp Helm, Room Pouch, Swift Gloves, why not? Right, so my buddy just said you can exchange three golden eggs, so let's just give it a try. If we crack open, click this, yep, it used, <laughs> it used three of them even though it says five. So there is just a typo in it. Let's have a quick look at how this, uh, this thing looks. So I'm kind of interested in it. So, redeem, unlock. Okay, now we have it unlocked, but it doesn't automatically change. We probably need to go to the makeover page. Jeez, there we go. There's the, there's the new pink skin. Beautiful. I don't ever remember making my character bold. Oh, right, because makeover mage changes everything, doesn't it? Ah, let me quickly change that back, because that's ugly as shit. You know what? I want black. That's cool. Yeah. All right, awesome. At least we have that unlocked. We have about 13 minutes left for the one hour, but I mean that PK kinda helped right there. Another very rare rabbit, but I don't know if I'm able to outhit him. I was slightly faster on him, but that doesn't always mean shit. Oh, it is mine, but no freaking rabbit feed. Rip. I really, really, really wanna upgrade the Ag Blaster 9000. Well then, we have like a little bit over a minute remaining at the moment. Can't say that this was the best hour I could have had. The interruptions by PKers. And apparently not just PKers, because we also have people like this apparently. Like, again. What are you doing, bro? Yeah? Go get me to all your clan buddies? What are you doing? Like, what is this? It's that kind of time waste. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh. Why even bother in the first place if you're just gonna do that? Anyway, all together, it wasn't a particularly bad hour. I think I can kill one more, but it could have been a lot more. And I hope to, in the future, get this to tier 3 so we can get a more accurate one with the best option, the best explosive eggs. Because I feel like it will make a significant difference. I don't know if you guys remember the winter event on Runex, for example. I, I can't say I've done it on Spawn PK. But over there you had these uh, inboxes, three different kinds, one that could quick, uh, quick catch but had a lower chance of actually catching and one that gave double tokens but blah 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 blah. And like the separate boxes were pretty fucking shite but if you could get it the upgraded version you suddenly shot up to like 50,000 tokens an hour. And I have a strong feeling that it's very similar here with these explosive eggs. If you get it to tier 3 you probably kill these rabbits at least 3 or 4 times as fast meaning you can do way more kills per hour and your profit will shoot up significantly. Oh look, another uncommon one, but I don't have time for that one. I'll finish this one off. Yeah, we're currently at 26 minutes, so technically time is up right now, but I'll finish this kill and uh, we'll have a look at how many tokens we've obtained in this hour. Oh wow, on the very last kill we still managed to find one more rabbit's foot. Not bad. All right then guys, we're currently at 13,049 tokens after that hour. So we gained 9,626 from the previous hour, leaving us with a token obtained from uh, from this one hour of rabbits in the wildy at 3,423 tokens. Kind of on the low side, not gonna lie, and I'm sure a lot of you agree with that. I could have been far more efficient. The rabbit itself, I didn't find too many. A lot were taken by other people. And most importantly, you need to get that upgraded back to really kill it more efficiently. But altogether, the benefit of doing the rabbit is, of course, you get these rabbit's feet to upgrade, but also the chance of getting prize keys, grand prize keys, and I think epic pet boxes, was it? Altogether, there are chances for more loot, but you're gonna have to do a bit more for it. And of course, the PKers on top of that, that is part of the will. The high risk, high reward, you might get lucky, you may not. But altogether, I'm pretty damn satisfied. Let's go have a look at how much these sell for for now. How much did we make in two hours of token hunting? They're about 8 mil each. Um, yeah, I'll just dump them for 8 mil. I ain't that greedy, boys. So, 8 mil each and a total of 14k. So, it will do all of them. Hopefully, they near insta-sell. They usually kind of do at this current moment in time because a lot of people are buying them. If not, I'll check you guys in a sec. Oh, wait, we can just check right here. That's 104 bill? What? Are you serious? We made like over 100 bill in just two hours. That is, you know, for some people good, for some maybe not. I mean, you could do mythical revenants and make that if you get lucky on avarices and stuff. But even that, that's, you know, I ain't complaining. 100 bill cash is still really good. How much is a twisted bow nowadays? Not the buckler. 
twisted bow, 154 bill. But technically, if I had just done, yeah, oh, there we go, two hours of egg hunting, I would have made a lot more money. I could have easily made like 18,000 tokens. Yeah, you could probably earn a Tebow in two hours just by doing the event efficiently. Anyway, it's all together, it's really fucking nice. I love this event so far, and I will probably make quite a few more videos on it uh, for the IDFAF series. In depth for a Falcon, for those of you that don't remember, it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video, but there's still quite a few things I want to go over, a few things I want to do. There are still many more new things we have to try out. I want to PK with the Mad Hatter, the Blade of Seldor, all of that good shit. If you guys look forward to that, let me know what you want to see first. Would you like a Blade of Seldor video, Mad Hatter video, maybe doing Chambers of Xerix trying to make some money, or more winter, or uh, more winter, more Easter event? Feel free to let me know. I'm curious what you guys have to say. All together, guys, there's a lot of new stuff in this update. I would highly recommend you check out the full update post link in the description, as I mentioned before. Um, there's quite a few new items as well, such as this new Swamp Bark, which increases the time that you freeze an enemy. The new Split Cestral, a mixture of the Split Bark, or the Swamp Bark with Ancestral Robes, which increases the freeze time even more by an additional tick per piece worn. Pretty fucking crazy. Then we have uh, some new items like the Cabbage Shield. It's just a fun cosmetic, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they have any significant stats that you have to worry about, but like, yeah, a few defensive stats and whatnot. Nothing too crazy, but a fun little item. The new Blade of Seldor, of course, why not? And we have some new pets as well. The Ultimate Omelette, as I've mentioned before in this video. If we could have a look at it, but my man is standing on top of it, so it's a little, a little hard right now. There it is, the Ultimate Omelette pet, of course. We have the Holy Nightmare, another brand new pet. Man, this thing looks sick as hell. Absolutely love that one. And of course, the beautiful, beautiful top header. I have to say, this might actually be one of my favorite pets in the entire game right now in terms of like design and the way it works, the way it dances in order to get its effects. Just really cool stuff. And I think there's a lot of things that we have to cover. There are some new cosmetic variants that you can spawn in the game right now as well. On top of that, wow, I would highly recommend checking it out if I were you guys. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace out, boys. Alright then guys, while I'm casually doing a, uh, a little raid in the background, let me go over the giveaway winners as promised for this video. I'm not going to show you guys the full process of me picking all the winners, because the video is already pretty long. So let's just show you guys who won. We're covering episode 9 all the way to 16. On episode 9, a $50 bond to Satoru Gojo. On number 10, a $50 bond for Mr. Maso. Number 11, a $100 bond for Kirikoro. Uh, for number 12, a $25 bond to Gui and a $25 bond to Solider A2645. On episode 13, three $30 bonds to Flaco P, Dixon Cider, <laughs> love the name, and Sorajd. Uh, I'd have $1,400 bond to GXNXRAL, General, but with X's. Um, Episode 15, $50 bond for Luke at 997, and $25 bond for Ass Hair. What are we doing? What's up with y'all in game names, man? I swear to god. I'd have 16, a $75 bond to Don Panda with a zero, and $75 bond to D Pretender. I'll ask Tevin to add it to the accounts respectively if possible. And if that isn't possible, I'll let you guys know when you can claim it in my Discord channel. Link in the description to join that. And with that being said, goodbye, and I'll check you all in the next one. And congratulations to all of you that ended up winning on that giveaway.